Here we have a simple object uh, with the two-sided leaves and those leaves are pointing in, uh, well, almost every direction. Usually we have uh, tropisms for tree and leaf components right here and those tropisms get imported into Xrock 4. But basic objects inside Xrock 3.5 also have a tropism, a basic tropism, and that we can use to drag every component into a, well, a specific direction like upwards in this case or now I want uh, to make the red um, side of the leaves face upwards and so I change the axis to Y and strength to 1 and so all faces show upwards. This uh, tropism is not available in Xbox 4 because um, um, all the primitives that are available in uh, Cinema 4D or Maya uh, don't have this uh, basic tro tropism of course. But there's a workaround. Um, to do so um, we have to add another branch component um, then we add uh, two null objects and a tropism object. I'm replacing the circle, um, the profile, because I don't want this um, component to generate um, additional uh, geometry. Then I add the tropism object uh, to the spline and then uh, the null object as placeholder because we want to put the leaf on top later on. The tropism strength um, has to be increased this is up to you, or we can um, change that later on also. And finally we have to uh, reduce the length so that the leaves don't hover in the air. Now I put this uh, component um, into the hierarchy, then the leaf um, on top of that up component or head component. Now you can see that the leaves all show upwards. And all we have to do now is to adjust the strength to, you, to our liking. We can reduce the effect, we can increase the effect just as we like. And if we then want to um, well, um, make the upside or downside face in, into a certain direction, we could drag all the leaves upwards with the up component and then simply rotate the leaf itself and voila, our faces are showing upwards.